Uh, Azan from U.S. Is it permissible to do magic tricks? Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Azan from the U.S., he said, what's the ruling on having magical tricks? It's an issue of dispute. Whether the magic that is haram is sorcery or anything that's magical, meaning. Scholars differed from long ago whether sorcery, which is haram, is the one that involves the jinn, black magic, special, po uh, special things you say, or it can also include potions, poisons, and things that chemical, uh, have, have a chemical reaction that you do to have something done. So Imam al-Shafi'i used to say that things that are chemically induced or motivated, so you make something that has a chemical reaction would affect a person, this is not sorcery that requires beheading and execution by the Muslim ruler. Other scholars say no, all is considered to be uh, magic, uh, black magic, sorcery, and it's all prohibited. And according to this difference of opinion, scholars acknowledge the sleight of hand. So if I do this and I get you a, a, a coin or I take a flower bouquet from a hat and then take a rabbit and then I don't know what happens, they, they said that this is obvious. Everybody knows that this is a trick, card tricks that people do. The, there's no jinn involved. There's no actual magic involved. It's a sleight of hand, deception. It's camouflaging my movement so that you don't see and I do something afterwards that would maybe astonish you. This is not magic. Nevertheless, scholars say that just to be on the safe side, all of this is a package deal, all is haram. But as I said, there is a difference of opinion. I would recommend that you stay out of it. One of my grandsons does these uh, magical uh, uh, card tricks, and he's very good in it. And he's, mashallah, half of the Quran. <laughs> but unfortunately, when you are like in 10 or 11 years of age, you tend to act like your peers at school, and, and he picked it up. So my advice is not to do it. But would I hold a stick against him? No. I think that this is a magical trick, a trick I can learn. No gene involved, nothing is involved. But it's best to be safe rather than to be sorry. You don't know what the future holds for you. Maybe shaitan would pull his leg and say, okay, let's go to try a disappearing act. Let's try saving ourselves from a, uh, uh, an aquarium filled with water or, or a box filled with fire, etc., like they do. And this would be something uh, uh, unadvisable, and Allah knows best.